morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching me from. Welcome back to Angela Ole's channel. How are you guys doing? I hope you all are doing great. And I hope you all are also bouncing in the Lord. Yeah, guys. Thank you, all my wonderful and amazing subscribers. I appreciate you all. Thank you for your love and your support. Mm? God bless you. And all my new subscribers, thank you and God bless you guys. And if today is the first time you are seeing this, my face, mm? guys, please subscribe to my channel okay subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel turn on your notification bell so that you will know anytime i upload a new video guys please thank you and for all my returning subscribers you guys are so amazing thank you and god bless you yeah guys without wasting much of your time in today's video i'm going to cook party food and i'm going to cook jollof rice fried rice lasagna anything like that. so guys thank you let me quickly bring out the things i will be needing for cooking this food and i will leave their names in description box so guys go and check them out let's get started so let's guys let's get started let me show you the things i have brought out so let's get started yeah yeah guys here are the chicken i will be using i have already washed it cut it on the sizes i need so here is the chicken i will cook it and i send time fry it so guys and here is the ingredient here are the ingredients i will be using to cook this chicken but I will leave their name in description box so go and check them out then after that here is the chicken i have already set it on fire i will go ahead and be adding all the condiments i will be using for steaming it i will not add any water i will just steam the chicken and the meat mm, water will come out from the chicken yeah here now i'm adding the curry powder then i will also add my paprika paprika or paprika i don't know paprika then after that i will add my nutmeg here is the time yeah time i'm adding the time now then here is my nutmeg then after adding the nutmeg i'll go ahead and add ginger here is the ginger that i will be adding i'm adding ginger now then yeah then i added canela after that i add my chopped onion then after adding my chopped onion i added savia leaf after that i will go ahead and add rosemary then after adding rosemary I added salt, yes, salt for taste. Then after that, I add my vegetable seasoning. That is what I'm adding now. Then after adding the vegetable seasoning, I will add my seasoning cubes. I added two seasoning cubes. Then I will go ahead to turn it around so that it will marinate very well with the condiments then i will now i'm adding my blended scotch bonnet after that i will turn it around also i didn't add any water i will not add any water I will cook this chicken with the only wa with the water that come out from it. Then I cover the pot, allow it to cook for at least 20 minutes. Yeah, after 20 minutes, I'm back. And I would let me check the chicken. Then the chicken is okay now. I will now start to fry it. 
then in a separate in a separate pot i will add a vegetable oil then i will also add carrot i normally use carrot to fry my chicken because i love the sweetness and the color that we give the vegetable oil so that i'm frying the chicken with carrot oil so don't mind me guys then i will add salt seasoning vegetable seasoning onions then i will start frying the chicken I will fry the chicken like about 10 minutes before. Yeah guys, I have finished frying the chicken now. My chicken is okay now. See it. I will now go ahead and make my tomato stew for the giraffe rice yeah in another separate pot i will pour in my tomato this is the tomato that i will be using i will pour it i will pour it inside the pot and allow it to dry a bit because i'm not going to fry it i'm not going to fry this too i will use that oil that i used to fry the chicken to make this too so i have a, i have cooked the tomatoes for about 10 minutes then I will go ahead now and add my concentrated tomatoes. You can see the tomato have already dried. Then I'm going to add concentrated tomatoes. Concentrated tomatoes, sorry. I will be using this one. I'm adding it now. Then after that, I'm now adding the vegetable oil. I said before that I'm going to use that oil that I used to fry chicken to make these two so that is the oil i have filtered it i'm now using it to make this too okay guys yeah i added my onions i will now add some condiments again in this too so i added salt my seasoning cubes two seasoning cubes Then after adding all the ingredients, I will now cover the, the stew, allow it to dry. Yeah, my tomato is ready now okay guys i will now cover the pot and set it aside and start to parboil my rice here is the water that i will use to parboil rice i will cover it and then here is my rice yeah the rice i will be cooking so i pour it into the pot Although I did not wash it before pouring it, but as I parboil it, I will now wash it thoroughly. Yeah, guys, I'm back. I have finished parboiling and washed my rice. I set it back on a cooker. Now I'm adding chicken stock. This is the ch chicken stock. Then I will not add all of them. I will, I will keep some because I will use it to make my fried rice then after that i will go ahead and add stew then after adding this stew, i will turn it around and mix it very well i will mix it very very well then after that i will go ahead and add some spices that i will use to cook the rice Here now I'm adding ginger. I will add my vegetable seasoning. Yeah, and add my paprika. 
paprika after that as i'm adding i'm turning so that none of them will stay one side i will be continue mixing then any one i add i mix it very well now i'm adding salt for taste because you know this is a big pot of rice so you have to be very careful when adding things and when turning things so that it will not be one side now i'm adding scotch bonnet blended scotch bonnets and as i add i turn then i will now cover the pot and allow it to cook for about five minutes before i will come back and cover it again with a foil pepper yeah i have come back after five minutes i will now turn it around turn it mix it very well then i will cover it with a foil pepper then i will cover it allow it to be steaming in a very low heat then i will be coming back every five five minutes to come and check it so guys i am back again to turn the rice and see how it's doing whether it's okay or not yeah guys the rice is okay now yeah guys the rice is ready now the jollof rice is ready i will now set it aside and start making my fried rice okay guys here is my fried rice the rice i will be used to make fried rice not my fried rice because it has <laughs> it is not yet fried rice yeah i added the remaining chicken stock i will add my this one is ginger i'm adding then i'll add curry powder after adding curry powder i'll add turmeric add my seasoning cubes all the all condiments i need for this i will add them i will leave their name in description below guys go and check them out okay then after add as i'm adding i will be turning it around because this is a very big pot of rice here is my nutmeg now i'm adding my vegetable seasoning i add vegetable seasoning and salt yes salt for test that is very important and you'll be checking salt so that you know now then add my seasoning cubes i added three seasoning cubes then i add little water then i added the scotch bonnet blended scotch bonnet then i will turn it around mix it very well so that everything will marinate very very well then after that i'll cover it and allow it to be cooking on a very low heat i will allow it to cook for at least about five minutes i will come back again and cover it with a foil paper then i will come back to check it how the rice is doing okay here is my rice the rice is okay now i will turn it around so know if the rice is okay yeah the rice is ready it's okay it's done the rice is done so i will set it aside and start the frying process yeah for the frying i will set frying pan on my cooker and added extra virgin olive oil i love to fry i love to fry my fried rice with extra virgin olive oil then after that i added spring onions followed by green and yellow bell pepper then after that i will go ahead and add add liver the liver i have already cooked it so i have already cooked it then i will be continue frying after that i will add carrots then i will keep frying it after adding the carrots i will add peas that pizzelli peas i will add some peas and then i will fry it for about five minutes before i will add the rice 
I'll be adding rice bit by bit. I will continue with this process till I finish frying the whole pot of rice. Here I have finished frying the rice. I will now go ahead and start making my lasagna. So lasagna is another thing I'm about to make. So I have made the bechamel. I have made everything. I don't want this video to be too long there. So just watch just be watching okay guys thank you for watching if you have watched reach to this place you are a darling thank you for your support thank you for your love thank you for supporting and god bless you okay Bye.